to uh, there. Uh, I guess there's a lot of uh, videos out. Uh, people uh, where you can look at uh, owning, a, owning a truck. If you're uh, uh, own operator who actually purchase your truck cash out or you lease with a company or you lease it directly uh, through the uh, bank when you purchase your truck through the uh, dealership there's so many ways uh, to get started with um, owning a truck and you'll hear uh, see a lot of different YouTube videos out here today so many there's so much information out here that you can get that's uh, real helpful for you and what I've, what, I've, what I've done over the years where, for me, um, prime example, uh, I've, I've leased before, um, and I've also, I, I've been on both sides of the field. I know how it feels to lease uh, directly with the company where you can't rotate the truck nowhere and you can't pull freight nowhere but within that within that same house so you can't go nowhere else with the truck and the terms uh, most likely five years to seven years on a, on, on a truck you know brand new truck or used truck so what I've done was you know I did that um, and then saved up, you know, me and the business and went and got a truck. And we actually got that truck cash out with a cashier's check. And with that being said, and uh, the older truck was a Freightliner Classic 1998 uh, Cummins N14 motor in it, red top. Um, and I actually leased that truck on with Universal. At the time, Universal had so many different umbrellas, it was, you know, so many different um, branches. So, with that being said, I was under the Mason. Right now, they're one umbrella now. It's just one, one solid name. But before, it was different. It had Great American and Cam, Mason and Dixon. I can't think of the other ones, but. I was under the Mason and Dixon um, branch under that umbrella, and I did flatbed there. Trailer, the trailer rental was, uh, I think, 130, if I'm not mistaken, about 130, no more than 140 a week is what I was paying. But that was a good rodeo. That was them. They, they were pretty decent. I was making real good money with real good money there. Um, so got rid of that and. I dealt with a um, quality company twice. Um, I dealt with them with a uh, with a uh, ProStar. That one had a Maxwell engine in it. That was pretty. I was in a shop with that one. So now, you know, for the second time, I'm with them again, trying to build my capital back up. And then eventually, eventually, we'll go ahead and buy buy. Uh, another truck cash out and uh, eventually uh, my plan is to keep this one as well as well and um, you know, kind of go from there but that's my that's my plan of action is to uh, stay focused and build my capital back up and then buy another truck cash out now some may say what I'm doing is a way that some people don't want to go but I'm not in that position like I was before to uh, buy a truck cash out. You know, you gotta, it's steps. It's, and there's nothing wrong with doing what I'm doing. Regardless to if you're going through quality companies or if you're going through uh, an individual company itself, you know. It don't matter what it is. If it's a good lease program, then if, if it works for you, it's so good. It works for you go for it, you know, some may be, you know, 
begging to differ, but it is what it is. But for me, this is the steps that I'm taking. So, I can tell you right now, I'm paying for once I'm changed a week for 260 weeks. And th this is the case, this is what you gotta go for when you don't have that down payment money. Uh, you just gotta save up, buy your nice $18,000, $20,000 for cash out to get started with and, and go forward. But I, I don't disencourage anyone from doing it. I, I will I will say that. I won't disencourage anybody. Go that route if you want to go that route. See what it feels. Jump out there if you don't have the capital to do so. If you're a company driver, save up. Have a down payment to put down on the truck. You know, that, that's third party where you can take it anywhere. You know, so be it. Pull, pull what you want to pull. Pull what you're comfortable with. Flatbed, drive-in, reefer, containers, you know, car hauler, you name it, tankers. There's so much stuff out here you can pull. You know, but I, I, I believe owner operator is the best way for me to go. Some people may choose to stay company. That's your choice. Some people don't want to deal with the headaches. I choose to do so. You know, I, 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 for me personally, I always wanted to be the one to have some type of control. Not a macho thing, but control, whereas I can see my lane and go the distance where I want to go. Cut some type, you know, have some type of control over something, you know, and not just, you know, just being the one in the seat. But, yeah, I, you know, th this video, I just wanted to do one, you know, as far as the lease on the operator perspective. Everybody, not everybody, but... A lot of people is doing videos with lease, leasing, bad leasing, good leasing. You know, it's good and bad in everything you do. No matter what company you go to, no matter what leasing company you go to, it's going to be good, it's going to be bad. It's just, it, it's just if you want to stick with it and deal with it, maintain it. If you if you're sinking, get above water. Anything and everything is possible. You know, I, I will say that. I'm not going to say nothing can be beat. Nothing can happen because it can. You know, this guy may do a five-year lease. He may not complete it, but that guy over there or that girl over there may do a five-year lease and may complete it. So, you know, that goes to show you it's a flip side to every everything. You know, and and that's that's my input and my emphasis on um, as far as owner operator as far as in the trucking industry. Well, I'm gonna kick back here and relax a little bit. Enjoy myself. I got my feet kicked up. Um, over here, leaning. I yeah, mean, just trying to relax. Got that air conditioner blowing. Just trying to stay cool because it is hot out here. I'm in Ashland, Virginia. Parked here at the uh, TA. Um, got me a nice little spot. The sun is behind me, so it's not in front of me. So it's behind me, and, I, and, I, and that's a good thing. I don't want to. I don't want to even move right now, but. Yeah, but I just want to encourage anybody that want to um, be a owner operator, and for those who are lease operators, owner operators, however you want to put that in the category, good luck, keep up the good work, do all you can, and do your best, and be successful. And I'm signing out. You all take care.